This video is going to show you what a good quality Eagle Scout binder application should look like. First, you're going to start with a good quality three ring binder. In this case, this binder is less an inch, inch and a half. Right from the start, inside the front cover should be your name, troop, um, a picture it can be your picture, it could be a picture of something that's important to you, but make it look nice. This is a professionally looking binder that you're going to use, that district's going to see, board of review is going to see, your scoutmaster are going to see. This is this is your accomplishment as being an eagle. In this case, this binder has again the scout individual advancement record, which came out of scout book. That's optional, but it sure does help. This was really handy because uh, as Scoutmasters, we print this off usually before a Scoutmaster conference. So in this case, it was done for us. Next, we go to the title, or this has a table of contents. So in the table of contents, all pages are in a plastic folder, one page per folder. In this case, and I can pull it out if I needed to, and there it is. And again, these are all the different tabs. So in this case, the table of contents, say the first tab, Let's go to the first tab. The first tab is the Eagle Scout Rank Application. This rank application, again, is one page, double-sided in this sleeve. So I can pull it out. I can hand it around. We can look at it. Um, the best thing about this is it's online on Scoutbook. If you go to Scoutbook to do your Eagle uh, Advancement Report, this will print for you, and it will populate the dates. These dates were all populated right out of Scoutbook. All these dates you'll see were populated out of scout book. What you need to do then is enter your require, uh, your references, who they were, contacts. You will sign and date. You will put your position of responsibility. But most of the dates will all be populated. The date you did your con uh, project, is pop you need to fill that in. The next tab, again, table of contents says it's the statement of my ambitions and life purpose. Starting... Very importantly, you need to have your name, your date, and troop number in the corner or in the top. I could say life ambition statement of Mr. Vogel. This is the date and this is my troop. Somewhere on the front page needs to be your name and date. Then in your life ambition statement, this again is typical, page and a half to two pages. Talks about where you want to go in life, what are you going to do in life. It reflects on how scouting has helped you in life. Uh, in this case, they talk a lot about being friendly, helpful, loyal, um, and all the things they've learned, leadership skills. If you're going to have a family, are they going to go into scouting? How are you going to give back to scouting in your future? How are you going to be and uphold being an eagle uh, for the rest of your life? This tab is the list of accomplishments and leadership positions. Again, must have your name, the date, and troop number. And then it's all your accomplishments in life. That you've done and it's not just scout related these are things you've done in scouting and out of scouting um, your different uh, camps you've gone to things that are important to you different chips you've earned um, different leadership positions you've held again scouting and non-scouting related in this you can have a separate tabs as well if you got any certificates you want to show your hundred miles of hiking camping um, service hours, canoeing, any if you got any certificate, NYLT training certificates. Any certificate you have, it makes it look very professional. The next tab is your Eagle Service Project Workbook. So again, you'll see it's one page, in this case double-sided, so you can see it on both sides. I can pull it out because in the conferences, we pull these pages out, we read them, we review them. So there's the whole workbook. Then the proposal section that was approved and signed. Then there's the project plan section that was approved. And at the end, the project report. Again, one page per sleeve, all in here. In this case, they also then attached the uh, proposal. It was your PowerPoint presentation you gave the committee. Um, that's in here. Skip ahead. There was a sign-in sheet. And you may not have the original, maybe a copy, but there's a sign-in sheet of everybody who was there. And then your receipts, everything you had for receipts for your project. And lastly, pictures of your project. And again, the pictures do not have to be just your project. Pictures can be pictures you have during your scouting career. 
Um, it could be pictures of you at camp. It could be pictures of you uh, receiving an award. Um, things that are important to you because this binder will be a keepsake. You will get it back at the end of your uh, process and you will be able to eventually, hopefully someday, show people what you did in scouting and be proud of your binder.